Anyway, before we dive into the statement, understanding what is huge particle gas petals or the colossal Hiron Collider. LHC worked by CERN is a 17 meters ring of superconducting magnets and the world's greatest and most solid particle smasher. IT addresses the pinnacle of human intelligent achievement, believe it or not, it's solid to such an extent that it would be able to recreate the actual conditions of the first experience with the world. Yet could this machine expected to open the favored experiences of the universe hold the way to something unquestionably more negative? CERN laid out in 1954 is one of the world's generally regarded research relationships with 23 part states and huge quantities of specialists. It's a middle for composed exertion and advancement. The LHC is CERN's lead project, yet it's just a single component of a colossal association of gas pedals and tests. Imagine a circuit but not for vehicles or P, this track is for subatomic particles, a trial of expert and perseverance. In space, at the LHC speeds up protons to practically the speed of light, sending them on a compressed lesson that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the huge explosion. The effects make temperatures different times more hot than the focal point of the sun. Huge quantities of magnets guide the protons on their journey while a large number of cooling structures keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The bars inside the LHC are made to crash at four regions around the gas pedal ring connecting with the spots of four particle locators Atlas, CMS, ALIS, and LHCB. Each fills a striking need researching different pieces of atom material science. Together they go about as beast cameras getting portrayals of these effects. Analysts then filter through the trash looking for signs of the tricky Higgs boson in any case called the God molecule and various quarks. Clues to the universe's vital construction blocks by thinking about the microcosm, we acquire experiences into the world. Yet with each answer comes another request, and with every disclosure, another test. The LHC isn't just a consistent instrument, it's an exhibition of human interest and improvement. It exemplifies our determined journey for data and our yearning to sort out the significant powers that shape our universe. However, as we stretch the boundaries of what we understand, we ought to moreover think about the moral and existential inkier that arise in the sanctified hallways of CERN where the cutoff points of human appreciation are consistently pushed. A divulgence has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most ready scientists. Brian Cox, a past expert at CERN and a voice of master in the domain of particle material science, has actually made a declaration that has left the world both spellbound and lamentable. Cox's words resonate with torturing clarity, the target of CERN's tremendous LHC collider is to duplicate a more modest than anticipated colossal explosion. Yes, you heard that right, a more modest variation of the very event that delivered our universe. The physicist furthermore ended up making feeling of the repercussions of this objective, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new disclosures. This integrates its ability to open the secrets of the Higgs boson and the examination of dim matter, a baffling substance that makes up a basic piece of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your grip, the ability to summon the genuine substance of the universe. It's an alluring possibility, anyway, one stacked with risk. The minuscule colossal blast isn't just a speculative thought. It's a significant reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the strains, the rough energy, all duplicate the conditions of the universe's initial stages. It's like leftover at the earliest long stretches of written history, seeing the presentation of presence itself. Anyway, with such power comes obligation, and the inquiry represents a potential danger. Imagine a situation in which something ends up being terrible. As an issue of reality, something went terribly misguided back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced a calamity that would everlastingly change the course of his life. In 1978, Borsky was managing the U-70 synchrotron at the Foundation for High Energy Physical Science in Krap, Russia. A GL misfire prompted his head unexpectedly coming into the immediate method of a proton bar. The bar, with a power that difficulties discernment, went through his skull, entering the back of his head and leaving through his nose. Borsky's experience was exceptional, he saw a flicker more brilliant than 1,000 suns, yet had no concerns. The bar's way came about in a way of destruction, consuming through tissue and bone, yet he remained insightful and shockingly walked around the office for treatment. 
The result was both surprising and intriguing. The bar's weight caused restricted tissue end, prompting the lack of hearing in one ear and fragmented facial loss of movement. Yet, incredibly, Borsky's insightful capacity stayed in salvageable shape, and he continued with his logical occupation. This episode isn't just a person disaster but a helpful model that features the gigantic power and logical gamble of atom gas pedals. The risks of molecule smasher like the LHC are not to be played with. The potential for unexpected reactions, the very surface of the reality being controlled, these are not the stuff of science fiction yet certifiable worries voiced by a few laid out scientists. The universe's secrets are simple toys as well as instruments of tremendous power. One of the most incredibly upsetting and enchanting worries associated with the LHC's tests is the possibility of making a tiny dim hole. Dark openings are local people of spacetime where gravity is strong so much that not even light can move away from. They are pretentious vacuum cleaners, the devourers of stars, the baffling substances that sneak in the shadows of our universe. That the LHC could make such a component even on a microscopic scale is dazzling for the generally populous and experts the equivalent. Might this dull opening sooner or later grow fiercely, swallowing the earth from inside? Anyway, specialists at CERN have guaranteed that any dull opening made would be sensitive and disappear almost promptly. The slim possibility has lit conversations, fears, and an inclination of wonderment at the power we utilize. Fathoming how the LHC is critical could make a dim opening. It has to do with the essential mechanics of atom gas pedals. When protons are squashed together at practically the speed of light, the energy conveyed is epic to such a degree that it wins the surface of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline broadened rigid and afterward a huge trouble dropped onto it, the surface turns, twists, and assuming the weight is significant enough, it could make an unhappiness so significant that anything nearby would be brought into it. That is a limited moral story for what could happen in the LHC. In the domain of quantum actual science, where the rules of the universe are both peculiar and awesome, there exists a theory that additional perspectives may be covered inside our existence. If these perspectives exist, the LHC's accident could exploit them, making a gravitational channel that structures a minute dim opening. This confounding dance of particles has even snatched the eye of a few widely popular scientists, especially the late Stephen Selling in his book. He forewarned of a circumstance where the Higgs boson could turn into unstable at incredibly high energy levels. This shakiness could incite a lamentable vacuum decay, a boundless event that wouldn't simply obliterate the Earth anyway the entire universe itself. The respected English cosmologist also astrophysicist Sir Martin Rhee conveyed his interests about the tests drove at CERN in his book on what's to come opportunities for humanity. He inspected the potential risks connected with molecule smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not just precaution, they were contacted with a sensation of existential trepidation. He talked about a most discernibly horrible case circumstance where a sad examination could make a condition called vacuum trickiness. This flimsiness could on a fundamental level set off a phase progress that would wave through the genuine surface of space-time. The result, a tremendous disaster that could overpower the entire universe. Rhee's concerns were not confined to hypothetical bits of knowledge. He given out a probability to these appalling outcomes. However, a low one, even a minuscule open door he battled should give us chance to stop further and think. The stakes are incomprehensibly high, and the edge for botch is razor thin. The specialists at CERN have decided the probabilities run the reenactments and reviewed the theories to argue for the prosperity of the LHC. Brian Cox himself perceived the meaning of that as what reliable examination. Seeing there are limitless sentiments of fear and concern encompassing the movement of the LHC. But he pushed that exhaustive well-being measures set up broad reviews and conventions that ensure the LHC's tasks are driv driven with the limit meticulousness. Cox reassured that the energies included are well within what the Earth normally encounters, and the possibilities making a consistent dim opening are infinitely low. Whether or not one were made, specialists say it would be close to nothing and thus unstable that it would evaporate quickly of energy. A characteristic expected by Stephen Peddling known as Peddling Radiation. It would be a brief preview of incalculable wonder. A brief investigate the void and a short time later gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's preliminaries could open a gateway to another universe or viewpoint. 
This thought, however, generally pardoned by laid out analysts, has gotten the imaginative brain of various and has transformed into a subject of interest, fear, and even legends. What lies beyond our reality, may we eventually inadvertently discharge powers or substances that we don't understand. The prospect of opening an access to predation has even been in various media, fanning the fire of weakness. Yet how did this belief become, and what's the importance here in the setting of legitimate examination? The thought of equivalent viewpoints isn't new in material science. String theory, a fundamental opportunities for a bound together theory of everything, sets that there may be more than the conspicuous three parts of space and one of time. These extra viewpoints could be compactified or put away from our insight, but they could theoretically be gotten to or on the other hand, revealed under ridiculous conditions. Now imagine the LHC as in gigantic key opening entryways that have been fixed beginning from the very start when proton affected energies as of not long ago, never achieved on Earth. They could on a basic level because disturbances are on the other hand, tears in the surface of space-time. These levels could open pathways to viewpoints beyond our own like breaks in an immense wall that isolates us from the obscure. The outcomes would resemble in the event that you were to drop a stone into a totally calm lake, the impact causes enlarges disturbances that spread out associating with all that they contact. Concerning the LHC, those waves could be aggravations in the viewpoints themselves waves that spread out into spaces we can't see or appreciate. Scientists at CERN race to bring up that the energies expected to make such a door are logical far beyond what the LHC can achieve making a wave for another viewpoint remains solidly in the area of science fiction. Yet the very reality that we can ponder such potential results that we would be able to investigate the restrictions of our comprehension and peer into the abyss of the unexplored world is a showing of the force of human interest and genius. For the scientists at CERN, it ought to go about as a calm reprobation that a few entryways once opened may reveal bits of knowledge we are not prepared to stand up to. The LHC, these tests have not recently raised coherent and philosophical requests but lawful and moral ones too. The actual demonstration of duplicating the conditions of the universe's birth of venturing into the early stage soup of presence and blending it in with our innovative spoons has touched off discusses that rise above the limits of science. Are we playing God? Are we stepping on holy ground, slowing down powers that were once the sole area of the universe? These are not simply scientific questions but profoundly upsetting solicitations that challenge our exceptionally comprehension of morals and obligation. The creation of a miniature dark opening, for instance, isn't essentially a logical interest but a potential Pandora's box. Imagine a whirlpool sucking all that into its inescapable hug but on a monstrous scale. A few legitimate scientists and ethicists have addressed whether humankind has the option to face such dangers. Indeed, even chasing information claims have been documented, looking to stop the LHC's tests, referring to worries about well-being and the potential for decimating results. The discussions rage on not simply in courts but in the corridors of the scholarly world, in the media, and around supper tables. In 2008, a case was kept in Hawaii by Walter Wagner and El Sancho who attempted to end the LHC's exercises. They contended that the collider could deliver planet eating up dark holes or never been seen quirks that could annihilate not just the Earth but the entire universe. The case mentioned a brief limiting request against CERN arguing that the associate had neglected to give an environmental impact articulation as expected by U.S. guideline. Anyway, the case was excused, it touched off a firestorm of discussion and brought the LHC's actual capabilities into sharp concentration across the Atlantic in Germany, a professor named Otto Rossler documented an objection with the European Court of Common Freedoms guaranteeing that the LHC disregarded the right to life. Dependable by the European show on basic freedoms. Roser concerns were established in the trip Asian that the LHC would be capable to make small dark holes that could develop fiercely. Although the two cases were ineffective, they shaped piece of a more extensive movement of concern and doubt encompassing the LHC. They reflected a profoundly imbued nervousness about the obscure trepidation that our journey for information could lead us down a path from which there is no return. CERN was shaped in the shadowed result of the second extraordinary conflict when the world was as yet recuperating and the resonations of decimation were an unpleasant update of human indiscretion. It was the point at which the very structure holding the universe together was torn under and from that disarray a gathering of visionary researchers hoped against hope.
They imagined of a place where the limits of countries would disintegrate where the quest for information would be an encouraging sign. They imagined a lab a cauldron where the mystery secrets of the universe could be investigated where the mysteries of presence could be opened thus CERN was considered as a posterity of war and intelligence an image of what humanity could accomplish when driven by interest rather than struggle.